Mm, mm. Well, why don't you believe? Why do you find why? it hard to believe that this man actually faced Lucifer? This is not the first time we are hearing such such he stories. He has walked with God himself. Mm. He has seen Jesus. Well, I tell you, I uh, uh, there's there is there's musicians mm. who eat mushrooms, psychedelic mushrooms. And they begin to talk about pink elephants. Okay. And uh, when people who are normal start hearing discussions mm-hmm. about pink elephants, you begin to ask yourself, man, is this brother having uh, to eat <laughs> mushrooms? We begin question, yeah. that person is in touch with reality. Yes. And uh, they may convince us and try to tell us, don't judge. But you know what the scripture s- says to us in First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 12, mm. he says, what business of mine to judge those outside the church? But we are called to judge those who are inside the church. And you see, a lot of people are confused. They think that we just take everything that everybody says, don't judge, don't talk about this, don't even use your discernment. That's wrong. Mm. In fact, I just want to put this down because I saw some of the people on Twitter feed when, when I posted my promo that I was going to be doing an interview. Mm. Say, don't judge. Mm. Don't judge. But I gotta read the scripture. That is First Corinthians chapter five, mm. verse twelve. Mm. When you do have a problem person, Paul says this What business is it of mine to judge those to judge those outside the church? Mm. Are you not to judge those inside within the church? Mm. God will judge those who are outside. Yeah. Okay, but we are to expel mm. the wicked man mm. among you. Mm. So we do have mm. the responsibility to teach our people. Yeah. If they are wicked, if they are breaking and violating God's command, mm. we have the the responsibility mm. to judge. It's called it's called obedience. Really, as I look at this issue. This man is telling us that he is uh, fighting with uh, uh, Lucifer mm. and he goes and has breakfast with Jesus <laughs> and then he sits down and have a meeting in State House of God. I remember Roger Mogishi mm. back in 2004 yeah. and 2005. Mm-hmm. Okay? Roger Mogishi told us that people who go underwater and then they have meetings with Lucifer. Mm. So I'm really wondering where Elvis is having meetings with Lucifer. <laughs> is it underwater? Yeah. <laughs> and I would like to In ask Roger Magisha about this because yeah. look, it gets weird by the day. Yeah. It gets weird. Yeah. All right, uh, Pastor Semper, just a minute. Yeah. Uh, he says the likes of you are riding on his relevance. You have become irrelevant, mm-hmm. pastors, and you are just trying all, to become all relevant. All you're doing is talking about Pastor <laughs> um, 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 Prophet Mbonye, Prophet Mbonye, Prophet Mbonye. You're treating the man of God mm. with no reverence, and thus this has caused but, less first of miracles. All, are you irrelevant right now? Well, first of all, the word of God has never been irrelevant, okay? The word of God, heaven and earth shall pass away, the flower fades, Mm. the grass withers, Mm. but the word of God never fails. Yes. We have seen many comedians come and go. Yeah. We have seen Chiwetere. Yeah. He came and he went. Mm -hmm. In popular men who have been on the scene, I mean, we've got a crop of called uh, these are the, 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 these are is it social so, what, what is social what so, so, so influencers, <laughs> social lights. So we 
we got a crop of socialites, yeah. okay? Yeah. Mm. Uh, they drive around, Range Rovers. Mm. Uh, they, they have people who sing their praises. Mm. They hire to get media on highly visible TV stations. Mm. But everybody talks about them, yeah. okay? Yeah. We've seen them, yeah. okay? They come and they go. Mm. Now, but the word of the Lord never changes. Mm. North is north. God is the only one to be worshipped. Yes. So, if you're going to come up and get on television, and you're going to call people, come and bow down and worship me at my feet, that's outrageous. Mm. You can expect my outrage. I live by a simple command. I obey what God tells me to do. Mm. And if anybody's going to be outrageous mm. and do something outrageously stupid mm. except my outrage. Yes, yes. So yes. we are outraged yeah. <laughs> that our young people mm. are bowing down to worship mm. Elvis Pony. Yeah, it's That's just... Wrong. All right, let's... That's uh, wrong. Let's Even Jesus. Yeah. Listen, Jesus came into the temple. Mm. He found people were dealing... He was dealing in the temple. Jesus had to get a cane. And he's like, what are you guys doing here? Get out. Get let's out do this. Of let's do this. Well, Pastor, well, what what are, are, there are some That's calls that are coming, coming through. There are some calls that are coming through. We're going to try and take calls for you. Uh, some listeners are calling in and they want to ask questions. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Uh, Bashir, you want to talk to the pastor? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll carry on with your comment. Um, there is no one who has the right to talk about Elvis this morning. Why? Why? Uh, because he's irrelevant. He's irrelevant. <laughs> no, 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 let me tell you one thing. Yes. You see, uh, most of the pastors here, you see. Yes. Uh, uh, have you ever studied about money laundering? Money laundering. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> money laundering. If you want to get clean money, yeah. use church. Use a pastor. <laughs> you, use a ch- you use a church because yeah. that money is not going to go to the uh, to the URA or what. Mm. It is going to be clean. Right. Right. If you want to clean your money, yeah. you go through the churches. <laughs> so Umboni, yeah. Umboni is one of them because you just wow. look at this. The wow. guy comes out on Tuesday night, only one day in a week, mm. and he has a lot of money. No one knows where he gets the money. His <laughs> money is not accountable. Yeah. And he has a lot of following. And he starts giving prophecies. I don't know which prophecies. <laughs> How can you say that you knew that Corona was coming? Mm. If you knew that Corona was coming and you knew that your church was not going to congregate. Yes. And you you kept quiet. Mm. Who would allow that? <laughs> Who would allow that? You see, <laughs> Thank you very much, Bashir. Thank, Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. We have another caller. Oh, keep those calls coming through zero seven zero three or zero seven eight six nine seven nine seven nine seven. Pastor Martin Semper on the line. He's uh, we're talking about his analysis, deciphering, yeah, of uh, that interview. Oh, discernment. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh Pastor Bashir just said he's irrelevant and uh, we should not we should not talk about him well listen i think that elvis needs to be addressed yeah we cannot uh, ignore him i call the person of elvis mm. okay mm. and there is the teachings of elvis mm. and we must be clear elvis as a person i really don't have much interest in him mm. okay mm. it's his teaching elvis, as a teacher, he's Mbonye theology, mm. Mbonye doctrine. Mm. That's what I have come against. I'm like, no, this is a strange doctrine. We know that salvation of Avarokode, we know that Tukute mm. We know that people repent of their sins. Mm. We know that people who come and preach from Western Uganda, mm. where Mbonye comes from, these are people who come from the line of Festo Chivenjere, Mohima. These are people who have preached a solid message mm. of revivalism, mm-hmm. okay? But when I listen to the gospel of, or the doctrine of Elvis Mbonye, mm. it's about get money, it's about come and bow at my feet, I'm the man of God, it is about I have a prophecy, and now he has a crisis of confidence because the greatest traumatic, most traumatic event of the year, he never prophesied it, okay? Mm -hmm. So now damage control of how to rewrite history Mm -hmm. so that and say, I actually, I'm still the greatest. I'm mm-hmm. the greatest. But, I, and people like, but you didn't tell us about Corona. He's like, but I told you. You just didn't hear it. Mm-hmm. Or, okay, I told you. I but told you, the selected you, you. 
Mm. There's so, something the prophet... That's what we are seeing. Now, I don't know about money laundering. Mm. Uh, I think he has a lot of corporate people he has managed to bring under him, and they give him... I mean, have you seen his events? Mm. People pay 500000 a million to sit at the table where he's going to be. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. where he sit in. Yeah, the money comes in from the people, definitely, definitely. Um, <laughs> There's something he said that, the, that I found quite interesting and I want to actually really understand. Who preserves us? Because he reached a point where he was ranting on about how people talk about him and they don't know him. Uh, blah 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 and then he goes ahead and yet I pray for them, I preserve them. Is it pastors and uh, men of God that preserve us or is it God himself that preserves us? Well that's a dangerous statement there. Mm. The person who preserves us is the Holy Spirit, okay? Jesus says, I'm going to go away but I will send the comforter the counselor, he will abide with you, Mm. he will he will lead you. He will lead you into all truth. He will remind you all truth. He will preserve you. Now, we have a problem. Elvis Mbonye is substituting himself for the Holy Spirit. Mm. So now, we got a problem that he's substituting the role of God the Father because God the Father is the one to be worshipped. Now, he's substituting himself as the Holy Spirit, the one to be Worship, And we are told in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4, he says to us, he says, guys, don't be shaken that the end has come. Yeah. That end will not come until the lawless one comes. He will enter the temple. He will demand people to worship him. He will despise all that is called God. And many will follow him. In the, God talks to us about the spirit of delusion, mm-hmm. this, that, they will, that they will be falling away. There's, there's a lot of people falling away in Dugwa. There's a lot of people, man, we got to cry out to the Lord. Mm. He said, come back to the Lord. Mm. Stop worshiping a man. Mm. It's time to turn to Jesus. And anyone who's listening this morning to this breakfast, yeah. we got breakfast for your musical ears. Mm. We got breakfast for your heart. Mm. It's time to turn and be saved in this quarantine. It's time to t- stop worshiping man who is covering himself in prophecies. Mm. You need the word of the Lord. Mm. You need you need to hear from God directly. Otherwise, like Jesus says, many false prophets will come in my name. Yeah. They will claim that they are the one. Mm. Don't believe them. Mm. All right, we have time for maybe, before we let you go, we'll take uh, one more call. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Three hours, sir. Yes. Good morning, Kenneth. Kenneth, talk to the pastor. Yes, yes, pastor, how are you? Hey, better and better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, longer. pastor... Pastor, do you believe there is another word in the lakes and orphans? I'm sorry, do I what? Do you believe there is another world in the lakes and oceans? <laughs> do I believe there is another la- world in the lakes and the oceans? In the water. There are in the water. <laughs> Listen, there are spirits and we are told, let me quote for you what the word of God says. It says, there is the world above, there is the world here, and there's creatures below, okay? And we are all commanded to worship the Lord. So yes, yeah. I do believe okay, there, the are no. there are spirits, there are demons, there's the dark world that uh-huh. has it, it's lived good. It's faster, out. Faster. faster, It's good you are saying there are demons. True? Hello? Where did, where did Lucifer go? <laughs> where did Lucifer go? Where did after Lucifer go? After, after he was after being chased away from the heaven. I'm sorry. Why don't you make your point so that I can be able to respond to it? I don't do it. Okay. Like, uh, do one, okay. One, yeah, one, yeah, one, and I can be able like that. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. Uh-huh. Do you believe there's another one in the uh, ocean? The next? He does. Where, where, yeah. uh, where, where did the Lucifer go after being chased away from heaven? <laughs> okay, you, can you, can hear you, you have lived in Uganda. What is the word Kaula? Kaula. <laughs> yeah. In, 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 what does it mean? All right. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank you, hey, Kenneth. Kenneth. I don't know if you can uh, respond to that, Pastor. Kaula. I don't know. <laughs>
Okay, well, I do. I think there is uh, two issues here. Yeah. Number one, yeah. uh, is there the reality that we have a devil? Mm. The answer is yes. Mm. The, the kingdom of darkness. Mm. There's a kingdom of Satan. Mm. In fact, back in 2004, when Roger Mogisha got saved, he came and told us mm. there's a well-organized system of the Antichrist who operates somewhere in the underworld. Mm. He had a well-organized machinery. Mm. He had a plan to deceive the world and to totally thwart the plans of God, mm. including what we see as homosexuality, including this uh, sexual sin, including deception, false prophets. Mm. He told us many things. Yeah. So the brother, I think I can answer that. Now he asked me about Kawula. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know Kawula, mm -hmm. okay, but what I know is yeah. that we do have in the Buganda system, there is also Mama Fina's system, Kulandama, <laughs> okay, worship of Misambwa, yeah. worship of Miembe. Yeah. Look, this is where we are coming from. Mutesa, in writing the letter to call for the missionaries, he said to the, the missionary, he says, we are in the darkness. Mm -hmm. Mm. And so celebrating the coming of the light, and I tell my Baganda tribesmen, mm. it's time to return to the light of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let's not go back to the demons. Mm. This now I see Mama Fina is fighting with Kulanama over that hill called Waluse, mm. which has powers that are supposed to be the ones that make the king. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. not far from that is the hill that is called Sempa. And that is why uh, I decided I have changed my name from Sempa yeah. to Gabriel Baba. Baba. Right. So, okay. yeah. I just want to announce, uh, thank you for that question. Yeah. As the truth of God transforms us, mm. as the word of God transforms us, mm. we move away, we move away from darkness into the light. Okay. And so I have a new name, my name, new name is Gabriel Baba. Wanga Mujie Eriesu, and I'm telling everybody, mm. get off the feet. Stop yes. kissing the shoes of this man. Yeah. These shoes that go to the toilet, yeah. you might even get coronavirus. <laughs> get up. <laughs> that <laughs> first, first all, right. so we'd like to thank you very much. We're going to end this at that. Thank you very much for your time. And how hey, you can announce my Twitter handle if yes. anyone wants to follow me. Mm. My Twitter handle is uh, at Martin Semper. Mm -hmm. That is uh, Semba with two S's. Yes. I, I'm transitioning out of that, but on top is Gabriel Baba. Yes. So at Martin Semba, you can follow me. Yeah. You can also follow my YouTube channel mm -hmm. at Martin. That is also Martin Semba. Mm -hmm. At my Facebook is uh, Gabriel Baba Banga Mujay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. All right. Um, uh, a quick one. When you come back, uh, the phone lines are buzzing. You can join in, in the conversation.